Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. This movie tells the story of a martial arts master who assembles a band of fighters to protect a legendary sword from a warlord. Will they successfully defend the legendary sword? Let's find out in Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny begins when a renowned warrior maiden named Shu Lian who lived a solitary life in a remote location for 18 years, decides to travel to Peking because she has to attend Sir Ti's funeral procession, a man like a father to her. But on the way, Shu Lian was attacked by armed men from the West Lotus Clan. Just as she was overwhelmed by her assailants, a masked horseman came to her aid. Together, the two of them defeated the attackers from the West Lotus Clan and managed to reveal one of the conspirators, namely a young man named Wai Feng. In his escape into the forest, Wai Feng met a witch who was nicknamed the Blind Enchantress. The witch asked him to take her to Hades Dai, the leader of the West Lotus Clan who was his superior. On the other hand, Hades Dai who was at his residence was visited by a warrior girl named Snowvase who asked him to join the West Lotus Army. However, when Hades Dai approached, she immediately drew her sword and tried to kill him. The man could easily dodge Snow Vase's attack and fight back. Realizing that she would not defeat Hades Dai, Snow Vase finally ran away. Not long after, Shu Lian finally arrived in Peking and rushed straight to Sir Ti's house. She is greeted by Ti Jr., the son of the late Sir Ti. Shu Lian was very surprised that the legendary Green Destiny Sword was put on display without any protection, even though the sword is the most powerful weapon in the martial world. The Green Destiny Sword used to belong to Li Mu Bai, her lover who had died 18 years ago. While holding the sword, the memory of Li Mu Bai flashed through Shu Lian's mind again. They used to love each other, but Shu Lian couldn't accept Li Mu Bai's proposal because she had promised to marry the man she loved before she met him. However, that man had died while fighting Hades Dai. Until now, Shu Lian still remembers Li Mu Bai as a great warrior and the only person who can master the Green Destiny Magic Sword. Elsewhere, the Blind Enchantress finally meets Hades Dai and reveals a magic sword that is far more powerful than the sword that he currently has. The sorceress tried to instigate Hades Dai to get the sword by saying that he would become much stronger and could easily defeat his enemies and rule the martial world if he had the magic sword Green Destiny. The blind enchantress then told him the location of the Green Destiny sword. The leader of the West Lotus clan was initially reluctant to invade the house of Sir Ti who is also the emperor's brother, but blind enchantress asked him to send Wai Feng, as he and the sword are bound by destiny itself. Many people came to Sir Ti's house in the evening to attend his funeral, including Snow Vase. On the other hand, Wai Feng broke into the house and tried to steal the Green Destiny sword that was left unguarded. Unexpectedly, Snow Vase also appeared there. They were both involved in a fierce battle. In the middle of the fight, Snow Vase accidentally notices a birthmark on Wai Feng's chest, distracting her and allowing Wai Feng to steal the Green Destiny sword and escape. However, soon the commotion was heard by Xu Lian and the guards, until finally Xu Lian managed to defeat Wai Feng and reclaim the Green Destiny sword. Snow Vase argued that Wai Feng was about to steal the sword and she was just trying to stop him. Just as Shu Lian was about to store the Green Destiny Sword in a safe place, Snow Vase asked her about the power of the legendary Green Destiny Sword. Shu Lian said that the sword would be very powerful if in the right hands. Shu Lian then asked Snow Vase to snatch the sword from her. However, all of Snow Vase's attacks were easily countered by Shu Lian. After acknowledging Shu Lian's greatness, she begged her to take her as a disciple and train her. The next day, Shu Lian proposes to Ti to move the Green Destiny Sword to a safer place after the previous night's attempted robbery, but Ti refused because he had promised his late father to keep the legendary sword in their home. Because Ti refuses to move the Green Destiny Sword to a safer place, Shu Lian finally announces to gather the great warriors who once helped her, known as the Iron Way, to help her protect the Green Destiny Sword. Seen a warrior who saw the announcement, then pulled it out and put it back on the notice board at a food stall. The swordsman was none other than Meng Shizhou, better known as the Silent Wolf, who had saved Shu Lian when she was attacked by a flock of West Lotus in the forest. While Meng Shizhou was ordering food, he was approached by a swordsman who offered his 30 swordsmen for a high price, but they attack him when rebuffed. He was not aware of the existence of the members of the Iron Way who were there, namely Flying Blade, Thunder Fist Chan, Silver Dart Shi, and Turtle Ma, who then joined Meng Shizhou in the fight against the warrior and his minions. After defeating them all, Meng Shizhou and the four members of the Iron Way then rushed to the House of Ti to help Shu Lian protect the Green Destiny Sword. Meanwhile, at the late Sir Ti residence, Snow Vase was training under Shu Lian's tutelage. Shu Lian immediately realized that Snow Vase harbored anger and resentment deep within her heart, thus making it difficult for her to keep up with her training. 
Moreover, Wai Feng was locked up in a cage, who was always interrupting Snow Vase in her training by trying to distract her. Even so, Xu Lian appreciated Snow Vase and the fact that her master had trained her very well. Instantly, Snow Vase's face suddenly looked gloomy and revealed that her teacher was really great, but she died years ago. Elsewhere, Meng Shizhou and his entourage were seen resting. Flying Blade then reveals that Green Destiny is a legendary sword forged with a special technique in the Qin Dynasty era. The sword is predicted to cleave even steel, and whoever uses the Green Destiny sword in battle will never be defeated. After continuing their journey, Meng Shizhou and his warriors finally arrived at the House of Tea. They were greeted directly by Xu Lian. However, when Xu Lian saw Meng Shizhou, she was very surprised that her ex fiance was still alive. All this time, Xu Lian thought that Meng Shizhou had been killed by Hades Dai many years ago. Meng Shizhou explains to her that he really loves Xu Lian, but he also realizes that Li Mu Bai is her true love. Meng Shizhou had feigned his demise to seek a life of enlightenment in the mountains, as he knew that as long as he was alive, Li Mu Bai would not have asked Xu Lian to marry him. Meng Shizhou did all that so that Xu Lian and Li Mu Bai could live happily ever after. Elsewhere, Hades Dai carried out a massive massacre against other clans who would not submit to him. He was furious because Wai Feng had failed in his mission. He then sent his warrior maiden, Mantis, to retrieve the Green Destiny Sword. That night, Mantis led an army to storm the House of Tea. Xu Lian, Meng Shizhou and his warriors had already taken their respective positions. They had anticipated the attack and a fierce battle was inevitable. Mantis tries to kill Wai Feng, but she is attacked by Snow Vase and they fight. Wai Feng then revealed the sword's location to Mantis which then made her stop her fight with Snow Vase and rush towards the location of the Green Destiny Sword. On the other hand, the blind enchantress already knew the location of the Green Destiny Sword, but when she was there, it turned out that the sword had been taken by Xu Lian. At the same time, T arrived and the blind enchantress immediately took the opportunity to take the man hostage. The witch reveals that her parents were killed with the sword. She eventually kills Sir T's son when Xu Lian refuses to relinquish the sword. When he was about to go to the location of the Green Destiny Sword, Mantis was blocked by Silver Dart Shi and Turtle Ma. They fought to the best of their ability, but Mantis was superior even though she was alone, while Silver Dart Shi and Turtle Ma were killed in the attack. That night, the inhabitants of the House of Tea mourn the loss of their dearest companions. On the other hand, Snow Vase comes to Wai Feng and tells her past which is related to Wai Feng's past. Snow Vase reveals that Wai Feng's mother is Han Mei, a legendary swordsman. However, as a baby, Wai Feng, born with a special birthmark on his chest, was replaced by Snow Vase's mother, a concubine. Her mother hopes that her husband will be happy because he has a son. Han Mei, who couldn't bear it, adopted the baby girl as her child and named her Snow Vase. Even so, Han Mei never stopped looking for her son's whereabouts. Years later, Han Mei finally discovers her son's whereabouts in the West Lotus Clan, where Wai Feng was raised and trained by the Iron Crow. Han Mei then challenges Hades Dai to fight for Wai Feng's freedom but Hades Dai managed to defeat her. Han Mei was mortally wounded by Hades Dai and, as she died, implored Snow Vase to find Wai Feng. Since then, Snow Vase has held a grudge against Hades Dai because he had killed the woman who had raised and trained her. Snow Vase was determined to avenge Han Mei's death. Knowing that Hades Dai will send someone to kill Wai Feng, Snow Vase then frees him without anyone knowing. Snow Vase did this because she wanted to fulfill her promise to Wai Feng's mother to protect him and free himself from the clutches of Hades Dai and the West Lotus Clan. However, Wai Feng still intends to steal the sword. He managed to steal the Green Destiny Sword and Snow Vase feels horrified to hear that he has stolen the sword. Meng Shizhou managed to track down Wai Feng and they fought in the frozen lake. When Wai Feng is cornered, his master, Iron Crow, comes to his aid. The three of them were fighting on a fragile ice lake. Iron Crow then told Wai Feng to return to West Lotus with the Green Destiny Sword while he would fight against Meng Shizhou. In the end, Meng Shizhou managed to defeat the Iron Crow, even though he had to be badly injured. Xu Lian arrived just in time to treat Meng Shizhou. The two of them still seem to love each other and Meng Shizhou's assumption of Xu Lian who loves Li Mu Bai all this time is not entirely true, because in reality, Xu Lian rejected Li Mu Bai's proposal because deep down, she still loves Meng Shizhou. The next day, Wai Feng finally arrived at West Lotus and offered the Green Destiny Sword to Hades Dai. However, when Wai Feng was summoned to approach Hades Dai, he tried to kill him with the sword to avenge his mother. At the same time, Xu Lian, Meng Shizhou, and the others arrived at West Lotus and fought Hades Dai's army. Wai Feng, who was increasingly desperate when fighting with Hades Dai, then gave the Green Destiny Sword to Meng Shizhou because he thought Meng Shizhou was the right person for the legendary sword. Meng Shizhou received the Green Destiny Sword and used it to fight against Hades Dai and finish their battle. 
Meanwhile, Shu Lian battles the blind enchantress, where she uses her special skill to see the witch's illusions with her mind's eye. Shu Lian managed to defeat the blind enchantress. In the battle, Mantis can overthrow Flying Blade and Thunder Fist. Seeing her two comrades being killed by Mantis, Snow Vase did not remain silent and then attacked her. The two of them got into a fierce battle, until Snow Vase finally managed to kill Mantis. However, she was also badly injured by Mantis's attack and lay limply in Wai Feng's arms. Meanwhile, Meng Shizhou was fighting Hades Dai in the tower. A fierce duel between two formidable swordsmen who fought over the magic sword was inevitable. Meng Shizhou finally managed to kill Hades Dai with his own sword as he tried to grab onto the Green Destiny sword. Meng Shizhou defended the Green Destiny magic sword and handed it back to Shu Lian. The film shows Snow Vase who has recovered from her injuries and joins Shu Lian, Meng Shizhou and Wai Feng to secure the legendary sword Green Destiny to the Wooden Mountains from being misused wreak havoc on the world. The film ends. This film teaches that cooperation can bring a successful team against their enemies. Meanwhile, past hurt can be a driving force for someone to control themselves and become more powerful.